welcome welcome and happy birthday to you tauruses i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back tauruses we are going to be looking at what is coming up for you guys it is an unbelievable time for you tauruses so um we are basically um yeah it you guys are having a birthday in the shutdown time so a lot is going to be happening for you guys so um just be aware of what is happening and what is transpiring i want to say to you tauruses i love you guys so much and i'm really hoping that things will work out in your best interest however that is going on I want to say to all of you Tauruses that love is the only thing that is real. No matter what is transpiring, just understand that love is the only thing that is going on. So, well, good news for the people who wants a birthday chart. I see um, I'm now doing the birthday charts, um, the astrologue. Um, um, the uh, astrologue and that helps you to understand uh, basically who you are and that is so beautiful because uh, um, what is going to be transpiring is that a lot of you are going to be finally figuring out who you are um it costs um uh five and um uh, six to five dollars so if you are interested in order to find out who you are your compatibility and that sort of a situation you can just order it the link is going to be on the website another thing i want to say is that um um there is the church of illuminati um um illumination but it is a society if you want to join them i think they're wonderful they actually teaches you how in order to access um, who you are as a person and to be transpired in the way you want to be so it's um it's absolutely um beautiful because um um it's a group that help people to understand who they are okay um and that is good um that is wonderful 12 13 14 in 16 17 18 19 20 i missed one so um you know taurus is i you know i love you guys so much it's just absolutely wonderful um who you tauruses are and uh, there is just so much things that is going to be happening for you tauruses in this year um remember that your solar birth year begins from um right after the day after your birthday okay until the next birthday so however that is happening and transpiring for you guys it's going to be absolutely absolutely wonderful because you are going to be aware of who you are um this week is a wonderful week because you have your own energy that is going to be carrying you through your birthday time okay and that is um absolutely wonderful so Taurus, um, with all ado, let's get in your reading. I love you guys so much. Please remember to join my channel in order um, to receive um, positive gifts. Um, join my channel and uh, you will receive what needs to become up for you guys. Please remember that love is the only thing that is real, no matter what other people and other situation that is happening and transpiring. Love is the only thing that is a real Taurus. Is. So um, let no one, um, you know, let you be in any fear or anything because love is the only thing that is real. All right. Um, we're getting into reading. So um, for the people... I am going to do per day so because it's from um, the 20th until the 26th and I'm going to be doing per day so so let's get in it and see what is coming out so 
um, there is a lot of conflicts for the people who are born on the 20th whatever the energy is and whatever the situation is the people who are born on the 20th I see a lot of conflicts is coming up and is transpiring in your world um, that is what you're going to be having to deal with um, for the coming um, period so but I see you're going to be overcoming this conflicts which is very good very positive you're definitely going to be overcoming the conflicts so um, that is absolutely wonderful because what is transpiring in this world for you is that whatever the issues and the situation that is going to be coming up for you you're going to be able to overcome these issues and situation so for the people who were born on the 20th and I'm I will try and do a time as time stamp but sometimes it's hard to do a time stamp because it is a collective reading so let's see what's coming up for the people who were born on the 20th of March for their birthday this year okay we see desperation so I see some of you are very desperate desperate um, because of some conflicts that is going on um, but you are going to be overcoming whatever the conflicts and whatever is transpiring for the you people who were born on the 20th in this year it is a year where a lot of desperate times are going to be coming up for you guys which is you know not really so nice but the thing about it is that uh, with this desperation and this conflict that is going on, you're going to be um, overcoming it and you're going to be winning. But it looks as if in the beginning of the year that you are going to be having a lot of issues with a lot of things. So maybe you could be going through it at the moment and what is going to be happening and transpiring is that at the end of the day, what you're going to be realized is that you're going to be overcoming all of the conflicts and deceptiveness that has been transpiring in your world. So this is a very, very good energy. So it is the energy of uh, for you people who were born on the 20th that whatever that you're going through now at this moment, uh, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And uh, with each and everything that happens in our life, there is always the light at the end of the tunnel and a lot of people is not aware of that and do not understand that all um, situation that is um, <clears throat> transpiring in um, people's world but yet still you're going to be overcoming everything and I hate to stand up and move away from the reading but I um, forget the decks that I want to um, work with okay and um oh la la okay so we're going to use this one because we haven't used it in a long a time and we're going to be um also doing a little bit of uh, expressions that is transpiring oh yes 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 so all right so we see um desperation we see things coming up desperation um, and then let's see what is um, coming up for love for you Tauruses that is born on the 20th what could be coming up for love for the Taurus that was born on the 20th so we have um, Elin the heart that is going to be coming up in this year for you guys that was born on the 20th Elin the heart and a feeling um healing from a heartbreak so freedom from toxic relationship or an addictive relationship so this is absolutely beautiful and absolutely wonderful because um in love whoever his heart broken whoever has been dealing from uh, issues what has to do with love you are going to be overcoming this in this uh, um, year and this is going to be positive because you have the energy of the chariot is a yes whatever you decide to do it is a yes go for it it is time in order to start that situation it is a yes go for it okay so people who are born on the 20th it is absolutely fabulous then um, we have Pluto and Mars obsession. So some of you could be very obsessive. However, this is transpiring 
and happening you could be very obsessive pluto and mars have to do with scorpion and deliverance so there could be issues of the divorce that is coming up but there could be issues of uh, obsessiveness so expect pluto and venus uh, um coming in uh, um your birth chart in order um to um create balance between you and other people so that is um it is a beautiful year for you guys however you look at it however it is transpiring um it is all about healing from past issues healing from past situations in your life and accepting who you are your numbers is duality because you're working on duality up however it is coming up it is about duality so you're working on duality and this is um going to be good then what we're seeing here is that we have the energy of uh, you overcoming whatever the deceptiveness is and this is good the depression um, the desperation you're going to be overcoming this and you have seven so you have 11 7 11 and 7 and that is um very very positive whatever the issue is and situation in this coming year for you people who are born on the 20th it is going to be okay use 11 and 7 whatever you decide to do in this year is a yes go for it and do it okay we're moving on to the people who are born on the 21st i see um a conflicts with a tef that has transpired so people who are born on 20 um the 21st you're having some stressed out situation for some of you and some of you are definitely having situation that is going to be dealt with tef okay so um you could be uh, stressed out stressed out with your children stressed out with a new start stressed out over your kids stressed out you're trying to find your inner self however this is happening and transpiring and uh, you could be stressed out about your kids because of the shutdown and that sort of a thing in this year but i see that some of you could be always uh, also pregnant and it's being very stressed out so you have to be aware and to be careful of what is going on around you i'm seeing some of you be careful your child there is a situation with a tef um where it could be your child or something could be stolen from you or your child so be aware of this and and uh, realize what could be coming up and transpiring in your world okay so be aware of that i see some of you have to find inner strength um because of some deceptiveness that has happened and transpired and is going to be happening for um coming up whether stressful situation as a mother you're having some stressful situation with your children as a mother you could be having stressful situation because you have divorce and that sort of a thing so i see stressful situation is going to be coming up for you guys that is born on the 21st so be aware of this thing because whatever is transpiring i see stress but i see the death of a child or something something could be stolen from a child if you have children if you don't have children it's a stressful start that you're going through i see codependency is coming up and i see obsession um position controlling um some of you could have have a block that's why you are so stressful trying to figure out this block trying to push through this block however it is coming up and transpiring i'm seeing the sense of addiction is going to be coming up so whenever we have addiction you, it could be a child that is addicted and you're worried about this child you're stressful because this child has an addiction and that is a form of stress with energy of the rat and it's affecting it could be your inner child you yourself but it could be also that it is affecting um people and situation you could be working with children um that has addiction and that sort of a thing and it is coming up as being very distressful so um i see some of you some elusive uh, elusive situation is going to be transpiring in this world where you're dealing with neptune and um, um, um neptune and the moon so you could be coming very psychic because neptune and the moon is about psychic and that sort of a thing so you could be come 
becoming very psychic illusion illusion and that sort of a situation is happening some of you could be dealing with a Pisces or a cancer and they could have an addiction um, this could be your child or it could be your husband or it could be your partner it could be a family member so expect these things to come up because we're seeing these challenges that is going to be coming up for you people who were born on the 21st so um, it is a really ooh, um, powerful year that is coming up there is no question about this the year is absolutely so so powerful that you have to be in alignment of energies of what is uh, transpiring and happening for you guys you guys have 23 so five cha um, changes with your kids is going to be transpiring or with a new start and um i see that some of you are definitely could be working with people with addiction or working with kids uh, however that is coming up and is transpiring i see that there is a lot of stressful situations some of you are having some illusionary thing that is going on with a neptune uh, with a pisces and a cancer in your life that is going to be affecting you so 23 5 and then you have eight eight is infinity wisdom infinity abundance so this is also very positive that some of you could be going and vibrating at an high energy vibration so um this is a very wonderful and very positive so you guys have um five twenty three and eight or five eight and twenty three okay we're moving on to the people who were born on the 22nd bam 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 Double energy is that money is coming up. However, this is transpiring. However, this is happening. It is your year when it comes on to financial stability and financial abundance. This is absolutely, absolutely fabulous. Um, I see you're going to be realizing how to make money. I see that this is going to be good. This is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous because it's as if they're going to be shedding light on your money or shedding light on how to make more money you are uh, vibrated in the second house the second house is all about materialistic stability and it's about uh, creating a world for you with a lot of financial abundance and this is what is going to be coming up for the people who were born on the 22nd this is why I advise a lot of people uh, in order um, to know what is coming up for you I always advise a lot of people to do a birthday reading it's not too late because your birthday is a zodiac is just a beginning I see a lot of you are going to be the lovers okay however this is transpiring the energy some of you could be a musician you're going to be making a lot of money in this year if you're an artist a musician or you work in that world movie star however it's transpiring I see some of you could become artists or movie star this is going to be good because it's going to be creating a lot of financial abundance so some of you could be um, uh, could become very 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 um, financial stable you could um, be picked up as a model a movie star however that is transpiring but this is going to create a lot of money in your life so however it is transpiring in your world it is absolutely fabulous because what is going to be transpiring is that money is going to be seen because you have the energy money is going to be created it's as if um it is time for you and your fortune to come in and it is going to be good as we look at love I see the energy of the snake competition enemy some people are being clevered against you look over your shoulder you gotta look over your shoulder and the other woman so whatever is happening and transpiring Taurus says you gotta wake up wake up wake up wake up there could be some of you finding out about another woman some of you are going to be finding out that things and a transition is coming up in your life in your world and it is in your relationship so in our relationships you got to be aware of uh, the third person you got to be aware of uh, the clever one in the relationship and the enemy so there are warning you people who were born on um uh, about this cleverness that is uh, um you could have an enemy and not even knowing that the person in your is your enemy wow whatever is transpiring 
they are basically saying to some of you a Pisces because what we have is Neptune in um, Mars Neptune in Mars so this is the energy of the Pisces and the Aries so whatever is transpiring some of you could be leaving a relationship with the Aries in order um, to get involved with a Pisces so um, some of you are going to be seeing that an Aries is a very deceptive person however this is transpiring you're going to be seeing and, and realizing that the Aries is a, a very very deceptive person and I see you're going to be seeing the truth that this person has been playing you for a very long time and you're going to be realizing this and uh, you're going to be stepping over this in this year. So it's going to be wonderful because your year is a year where financial stability is as if you're going to be making a lot of financial um, um, stability and um, creating financial stability in your world. And this is going to be good. So what we're seeing is the energy of the snake and the energy of the snake in relationship. This is coming up in relationship. And then your Austin clock, what is coming up is um, weak. So if you are in a relationship, it could be a relationship with a Pisces or a relationship with an Aries. You've got to be aware because there could be some changes that is coming up in this year. So for the people who are born on the 22nd, money is going to be um good in this year and the energy of uh, um seven seven is good so your number is going to be seven um nine and 34 there's something that is going to be ending in your life and it could be your relationship so be aware of this um the energies are here it is coming up um be aware of this okay so um always check in for the monthly readings and the love readings it is on um um if you're a member of my channel most of you can receive it we're moving on to the people who were born on the 23rd and um what we're seeing here is a peace peace whoever is born on the 23rd i see peace is coming in peace is coming in um between you and a mother peace is coming in between you and a female person Peace is coming in, um, but a peace from a melancholy. Some of you were very melancholy. Some of you didn't know what to do, where to go. The you know, some of you were going through some issue, and now you're going to be finally revamping yourself and getting out of that um, melancholy and getting back, um, getting back your powers. And this is going to be good because some of you have lost some energy some situation some vibrational energy some of you have lost that and now you're going to be taking it back and taking back your life so peace comes to people who were having issue if even you weren't having an issue and you were having a sort of a unbalanced situation in your world i see that this is going to be good then let's see the supporting energy is a cycle is now over whatever that was transpiring with some of you a cycle is now over this year is going to be a peaceful balanced year for you guys it's going to be a wonderful year whatever issues and situation that was transpiring in your life you're going to be realizing that you are going to be taking the road of peace it doesn't matter with what when and how you're going to be taking the world of peace so this is absolutely absolutely fantastic because a cycle is now over you're moving away a new positive cycle is going to be beginning in a very positive alignment of energy it's a balanced year so this is going to be good some of you in love you could be meeting new people but i see relationship is good i see a lot of conversation i see sober in the moments i see feeling uplift and i see friendship so however this is happening and transpiring a lot of friends are going to be made but i see relationship is very stable people are working together in their relationships and i see new people are going to be met so this in love is looking absolutely fabulous absolutely promising in the general energy you're going to be balanced because there's earth energy that is coming in and peace is coming in but yet still in love this is going to be good if you're looking for a relationship if you're open for a relationship i don't see any breaks up that that is going to be happening for the people who were born on the 23rd so this is really wonderful and really positive as it comes in with love and the zodiac energy what is going to be affecting your chart it is um there stand 
and where stand is with Saturn and Mars Saturn and Mars so I see a lot of you are going to be making a lot of change um, discipline you're going to be bringing back discipline in your world because uh, there is no peace coming in and you're definitely going to be bringing back discipline in your world and this is going to be absolutely absolutely fabulous because what you're understanding is that changes are here because Saturn the energy of uh, Saturn is discipline in organization institutes so you're governed by organization and institution and I see a lot of you are going to be making changes in organization institution and also starting something new for yourself so I see you have created a lot of change in organization institution however that was happening and transpiring for you guys um, who were born on the 23rd this is what is coming up and this is what is showing and whatever the cycle the issues the situation relationships is looking good in this year for you but you are going to be creating a lot of discipline and changing up situation in organization institutes because of it is just time for it to happen okay so i see you tauruses are going to be taking the lead in this year in order to regain balance and stability in your world so wonderful wonderful energies that is coming up here um so for you people who are born on the 23rd you have three and you ha you have twice three so body mind and soul so it's as if some of you are going to be finding balance in connecting with the three body mind and soul because you have 30 and you have the world now 30 and the world is three and the world is 21 which is three so some of you are going to be working with the ascendance masters and connecting yourself on a spiritual level and this is good so it is wonderful it is positive it is definitely wonderful you're going to be creating balance and bringing back balance and that is going to be absolutely absolutely fabulous so remember you have third you have three you have 33 and you have 30 however you use this use this in positive because you're going to be using it to change organization institutes as we move to the people who were born on the 24th i see you're going to be very successful i see some of you could become very psychic i see some of you could be um you know what if the, the the whatever is transpiring is a lot of success is going to be coming up for you guys however it is happening and transpiring a lot of success is going to be coming in for you guys because uh, it is as if uh, um the um the universe is uh, um making a lot of changes okay and you are being aligned with these changes and this is absolutely absolutely fabulous because what is happening and transpiring is that they are seeing um and they are making changes that is going to be affecting a lot of people and this is absolutely absolutely fabulous so what is ha happening is that when we reach a point when these changes and the shift because when the star comes in it's about your spiritual angels and guides or attempting to work with you from the spirit world in order to bring in what it is that you need so with the energy of the star and success is coming up especially you ladies 50 years and older it's as if this year is your year you're going to become very very psychic especially ladies this is going to be a very psychic year so let's say that you are um yeah 45 50 you're going to be awakening to who you are and this is going to be absolutely fantastic so i see you're going to be very very supporting but also the psychic is coming up and i see success is coming for everyone but women are more of all you are going to be absolutely bending out in such positive energy I see that healing is coming in so it's a, it's a very healing year it's a year of psychic but it's a very very healing year where spirit guides uh, universal beams are going to be coming in your past parents grandparents 
are definitely going to be coming in and helping you guys out whatever is happening I see a lot of you men are going to be becoming female your female energies are going to be very very high in this year but there is a lot of success for you men so I see that um, it's like your spirit guide for parents are going to be coming in and helping you guys and this is going to be good and I see that some of you um, could become very frustrated in relationship um, a lack of confidence self-sabotage fear ego issue of jealousy so relationship you gotta be on top of your game with your relationship so for you people who are born on the 24th you gotta be on top of your game with relationship if you have been going through um, issues in relationship for the people who are born on the 24th you are going to be overcoming these you're going to be successfully overcoming all these uh, problems and issues in relationship it's all about calling in on the lord of karma and the lord of love um in order um to release this tension that is coming up in a relationship okay so um what is happening in your astrological chart is that uranus and mercury um but this is in a positive way because new things are going to be coming in so some of you could be meeting aquarians and some of you could be meeting the virgos in a relationship or they could be affecting your life but whatever it is they're coming in in order to help you to um, create success in your world and this is going to be absolutely absolutely fabulous okay so for the people remember 16 um 16 and uh, 14 so when we have 16 it's always about uh, the supernatural it's all about success it's all about overnight success that is going to be coming up for some of you and this is going to be absolutely absolutely positive so when we look at this situation what we're seeing is that unexpected success is going to be coming up for the women and whoever that was going through hardship in your relationships, however relationships, love life is coming up, I see that uh, some changes is going to be coming in because whenever um, changes is going to be coming in and some of you are going to be meeting, um, some Aquarians is going to be coming in and some um, uh, Virgos are going to be coming in and this is going to be aligning and aligning yourself in a very, very positive way, okay? So your numbers is 16 and 14 as um, so we have um, uh, 5, 7, uh, 14 and 16. Okay, so um, this is good. Let's move on to the people who are born on the 25th. The people who are born on the 25th, I see you're going to be using your masculine energy, whatever the issue and the situation is. I see you're definitely going to be using your masculine energy in this year. Whatever that has been happening and transpiring is as if you are coming up and standing with the forces and using the masculine energy in order to balance a lot of issue and a lot of situation. There is nothing wrong with this, okay? Absolutely nothing wrong with this because the energy of the masculine is coming in. And because you're using your masculine energy, fortune is on your side. So it's going to be a very, very fortunate year for the people who are born on the 25th of uh, April. Congratulations congratulations you men are going to money however this is happening and transpiring you men are going to be eating the chart making a lot of money um not only men but also business women fortune is on your side however this is transpiring fortune is going to be on your side and especially for the people who are in business connection love and relationship fortune is going to be on your side this is going to be an absolutely lucky year in love and in romance okay so fab 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 and fab darlings because you people have your rock you rock and this is going to be absolutely fabulous let's see and this is in general so in general your world is going to be absolutely fabulous because whether you're a man or a woman you're going to be using the masculine 
um, energy in order to create your fortune and your financial abundancy and I see a lot of money is coming in both for men and women and for couples business people it's going to be good now in relationship you have the energy of hammer so um, you guys know it is always your choosing your business to create your business so sabotage um, rebuilding um, integrating um, re repetition resistant and working on your relationship so all of these is going to ask, affect you guys however it's transpiring and especially for the people in long-term relationships soul mate relationship twin flame relationship I see a lot of this is going to be affected for people in other relationship it's not going to be so affected as marriage long-term relationship soulmate relationship and twin flame relationship so these are the issues that you really need to work on and as you work on these issues you're going to be seeing changes that is going to be coming up in your life now um, what you should um, watch out for is explosive and explosive is when you get just pissed off and just got out of your yourself okay and explosive comes up when Uranus because Uranus is really in the bird chart Uranus and Mars is not really good together because Uranus and Mars is about taking down and ending things and that's why you have Amor so I see some of you could be just ending your relationship because you got upset over something and just decide yeah um, this isn't working and just ending your relationship however this is transpiring whenever Uranus and Mars are together that is really it's like um, huge um, conflict squirrel um, you know that sort of a thing that is going to be coming up in relationship because it's the energy of the lovers so it's a year of the lovers and fortune with you and your partner but yet still there is going to be some heavy action in um, your relationship area so be aware of this okay so and that is it you can't have everything that you want honestly seriously people you can see it that sometimes a part of your chart is so powerful and it's so good and then another part of your chart is just uh, so out of this world so let's move on to the people who were born on the 16th the 26th the people who are oh before i go forward um the numbers for the people who are born on the 25th is that you have 28 um that is 10 the wheel of fortune you have fortune so you're going to be very fortunate it's a lucky year for you people who were born on um the 25th Fifth is an absolutely fabulous year because you have the wheel of fortune and you have fortune beside it so it's good especially with business couple business and whatever is transpiring so you have the 10 the wheel of fortune 6 and um, 28 so 6 10 and 28 and moving forward to the people who are born on the 26 you have an issue with a corporation institution and I see you um, you could be going back if you're a reserve military or army person you could be going back or you could be trying to get your pension or you could be coming off of duties but I see um, investigation with a government institution organization um, it has to do with government institution organization because um, you could be deciding to sign up to go in the marine or your reserve that they're calling you back or there is some investigation that is going on um where you are affected in a government institution or organization however you could be the one who is working in a government institution or organization you could be a lawyer you could be a judge however this is coming out so and i see some judgment call is going to be coming down a lot of ju judgment call is going to be coming in and coming down so you guys are really dealing with some issues in this year that is going to be coming up and however this is and it, you know if I were you I will order a birthday reading in order to see what is going to be in your birth chart for this year but also in order to find out what exactly is going to be transpiring in your world because I see some information some judgment call is coming out now um what is transpiring is that if you were having legal issues because this is coming up as legal issues is going to be ended um, so this is going to be good new beginnings new growth changes liberation and transfer and transformation is going to be happening 
So um, whatever issues you were having with government institutes, your organization, a lawsuit against your work, your um, your employee, employer, however this was transparent, I see that this is going to be over. I see an end is going to be coming in. Um, it could be also the end and transition that is going to be coming in also in relationship because this is a, this is affecting relationship and the mundane world around you. Okay. So, um, be aware of these energies and I see some luck is going to be coming in for some of you because Jupiter is here. So luck in love and, um, luck in love, but luck in also legal issues is going to be transparent for you guys. So this is absolutely good. And if you decide to go into harmony or connect with government institutes or organization, this is going to be good because I see, um, Jupiter is bringing luck and, um, it is positive. Um, because I see that some of you, I see if someone in an institute or organization had affect you as Sagittarian, I see some legal issues and I see that a Pisces is going to be helping you out. And this is good. So, um, whatever is happening and transpiring, you gotta be um, on top of your game. Um, and this is absolutely good. Nothing to worry about, ladies and gentlemen, nothing to worry about now. Um, how this works, um, because it's a solar year and it's a collective reading because you are collective between 20th and 26th. And before I go any further for the people who were born on the 26th, you have 19, 19 and one is 10, 10 and one. So you have zero, one, uh, 10 and 19 and two because 20 is two. So you have a lot you're working with. So you can realize that you're going to be having this legal issue and situation that is happening and transpiring. So wonderful, but you are going to be having some luck because Jupiter is going to be coming in uh, in order to help you to end certain issues, certain situation. It doesn't have to be love, but Jupiter is going to be coming in to help you to win lawsuits and that sort of a thing legalities whatever conflicts and jupiter is here to help you but um um you are going to be finding out that a pisces is going to be helping some of you um in the back not even knowing that so wow it is going to be a beautiful year i'm going to try to do a timestamp and i'm going to try doing um the readings like this it's like you guys needed to have a change um, this change is coming up. So, um, this is, um, wonderful. I always ask to pull a card, but I'm just going to take two cards for you Tauruses. So let's see what the map has to say for the Tauruses in this year. Remember just order, um, a bowl to bowl, um, reading. Okay. So Tauruses, a message came up number seven. Um, number seven is, a. Uh, into the unknown. So a lot of tar you Tauruses are going in the unknown. This is a year where you're going to be stepping in the unknown, not really knowing um, what is happening, but you're going to be stepping in the unknown. And this is going to be absolutely good and fabulous. Then for some of you, the talisman is here where changes is going to be coming in. And this is going to be wonderful because these changes needs to come in in order to exhilarate your life. And it's going to be an absolutely wonderful, powerful year. So enjoy, okay? Fortune is on your side. And that is what the name of this year is that you all, this issues, these situations, fortune is on your side. So number seven and number 40, 40, um, number seven and number 49, um, 13, um, which is for the angels. You can see cause the talisman is that your spirit guides is going to be leading you on the right part in this year. You're going to be finding the way, the right road to walk. And it's your spirit guides is bringing you to what you need to do. So thank you. Have a wonderful year. Please remember, go and listen to the weekly readings because um, you have to go through next week. I love you guys. Namaste.